Hi, my name is Corey Roth, and I'm an independent uh, consultant specializing in Office 365 and mobile. As a SharePoint developer, uh, I got my background started around 2007 uh, when I got thrown into a project in my first kind of consulting gig. And I said, hey, uh, you, you know SharePoint. Uh, uh, at least pretend you do, you're going to the client next week. I said, great. Um, and my first kind of project was centered around SharePoint search. And so I started you know, contributing in that area and started speaking about it and then you know, kind of wrote on good details for that as I you know, then later transitioned into Office 365 development. And you know, people keep asking me about search and it's uh, not something you know, people focus on as much anymore. I would say with the SharePoint framework, I started, you know, uh, before I went to GA and I, you know, I, I've dabbled in it is really the extent of it, honestly. I haven't uh, done any real projects on it, but I've been looking at it uh, quite a bit to see how it, you know, will fit uh, my client's needs. You know, I like the direction it's going. Uh, I've been doing a lot of mobile development, so I, I have a background there and uh, they leverage a lot of uh, principles that uh, platforms like Cordova use uh, with the basis on Node.js, uh, the use of TypeScript. And so for me, that wasn't quite the you know culture shock that uh, other people experienced coming over from it. And I see a lot of how those paradigms came over. And so I think they're going in the right direction. I think it's got you know a lot of maturing to do, um, but it just hit GA and there's a lot of things coming and I'm excited about what's going in the pipeline. I think uh, it's a good starting point. I think, uh, you know, it's, I'd like to see some pieces kind of come to it. We'll talk about that. But, you know, I think if you want to build a web part, it's, you know, it's disconnected. Um, it's built on, you know, tool chains that are established for other communities. And so I think it will work well. It's just a matter of finally getting, you know, the last bits and pieces that we need to do, you know, more of the advanced types of customizations that we traditionally did with, uh, you know, the add-in model and as well as, you know, traditional server-side code development. I think the roadmap has most of the things we care about on it. Uh, I think, you know, we have web parts now. We're going to start getting things where we can do more granular customizations on pages um, and as well as the whole page itself. And so I think when those are all in play, I think you'll be able to do some great customizations to SharePoint uh, using this new model. The shift to Node.js and TypeScript. You know, I know that's a challenge for some people, but I, I think it's a great way to do it. You know, it's what I'm familiar with now, and you know, I've come to come to love it. So, I think it provides you, you know, a good environment. It's decoupled from the server, and you know, you can run it wherever, and it gives you a lot of options. Of course, you don't necessarily have to follow one framework or the other, although it's certainly easier with some, as we know. But I, I think it's a great way to do it. When it comes to changing, I would like to see a little less dependency on React. <laughs> I think, you know, it, it is a good choice for it and I understand it, um, but I think it's also a big shift for a lot of people and I know other people have other preferences of frameworks and not that you have to use React, but I think, you know, if we had a little more options and we weren't quite so locked into it, you know, you could argue if you are or not, but I think uh, I would like to see other options, including Angular and, you know, whatever flavor of, you know, Vue or JavaScript library that you'd like to use, um, be supported. And I guess they're all supported, right? But, you know, we'll see a little more love. I think the challenge is going to be uh, adoption from uh, legacy SharePoint developers, honestly. I think, uh, you know, as a SharePoint developer, we, you know, we, we pretty much missed the world of NVC and the ASP.NET stack, you know. Uh, we we were locked into what SharePoint provided us. We were always a version of the .NET framework behind things like that. So as a result, a lot of SharePoint developers didn't have to learn some of the newer stuff. And when they had to, it's, you know, okay, whoa, this is totally a shock to them. And so, the switch to Node.js, different tooling, um, that's just different. And it's not the structured C-sharp, do whatever I want to on the server, you know, type mentality. So I think, it, um, although a lot of other developers, you know, are already using this for, you know, uh, single page applications and things like that, the SharePoint world, I think a lot of that passed them by and they're having to play catch up. So I think, uh, 
that will be the biggest challenge at least is you know learning those tools and playing catch up to a little bit as far as the roadmap where i hope to see the sharepoint framework uh, i would hope to see um, a more mature uh, generator so we, you know as i mentioned we can generate you know different types of parts uh, i'd like to see more things that we could do uh, right now we're kind of limited to web parts we know, we know we have some things on the roadmap but you know i would like to see uh, full control of the page i'd like to see be able to do anything to a list of document library you know injecting things you know uh, any of those kind of customizations that we used to do with the uh, traditional server side models and so i think you know we'll see some of that probably come out to play here in the next you know six months to a year and i think you know on the adoption side hopefully we'll start seeing an uptick of that as well although i think like i said i think it'll be a little slow going at first uh, but we'll attract new developers too so that's kind of an interesting aspect as well